The AG7 in their latest video. Now, we've got Media Man ready to roll with their new way to program your computer. Cool, Goo! It's basic! <laughs> The Media Man and Goo will teach you all you need to know to program BASIC. Computer code. Crowds cheer when you learn what you want to know. Make your computer do what you want it to do. Game players, hear what I say. Make them your way. Now listen to the Media Man. BASIC isn't just a game. BASIC lets you make games. You'll be learning the program. Wow! Yeah, wow! You'll do it step by step the easy way, the fun way. You just listen to what I say and then do and do and do! Wow, cool! BASIC is the coolest way for you to learn how to program computers. And if your mom and dad think you're learning BASIC just to program games, tell them it can help you with algebra, biology, chemistry, geometry. You'll love the program in BASIC! Go, 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 go! It's a go! And now, ladies and gentlemen, dudes and dudettes, it's time for the star of the show, the Coder's Coder, Hacker Deluxe! The man! <coughs> Medium man. Thank you! Thanks! What's up? This is BASIC! And I am Media Man. Nice to see ya. All right, let's get right on into programming in BASIC. The first thing you need to know is... Uh, excuse me, Media Man, but uh, what is BASIC uh, exactly? Great question. BASIC is a language you can use just like Spanish or French. Except BASIC is a language that you'll use to communicate with computers. Right? Right! So now, we're gonna... Hi, Goo! Thanks! See you later, bud! Goo's outrageous! Hey, it says here that the Amazing Lesson interface is ready to go! I gotta see this! Let's jet! <laughs> Next on Basic Channel 1, it's The Variable Show, with your host, Mr. Cheese, Media Man. That's right, because everybody loves variables! Why? Because they're variable! Thank you! Seriously, though, sometimes your programs will need strings or numbers whose values will change. Like, for instance, when a game program asks for the player's name or age, you'll need a place to put that input. Perfect place for a variable, which is like a little box you put information in. Let's see the box. Let's see what's inside! Nothing! Oh. Yes! Because variables are nothing but empty little boxes until you put something inside! And by the way, there are rules for naming variables that you'll learn later. Let's use some variables in your code! Thank you! No, really! Operands, math code power right in your hands. Add, subtract, multiply, and divide. There's so much more in it, no time. Addition, shoot it about, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Math code power with operands, yes. Coming up next on Basic Channel 1, it's the four next loop command. In three, two, one. A for next loop command. What does it do, and why in the world would you ever use one? Let's take it out to the track for a demonstration. Media Man, 
when there are sections of code that you want your program to repeat over and over, you can type the code in over and over to do it. A better way is to use a for next loop. Just like this car loops around the track, your program can execute loops of code. When your program has completed all its loops, like this car completing all its laps... The looping code would finish, and the program would go on from there. Now that you know a little about what a for next loop can do, let's use it in some code! Let's get right to the heart of the matter. You may already know about comparators. If so, we'll review them for you. These are comparators. Lovely, yeah? Yeah. Let's examine one. <laughs> Little doctor jokes there. <laughs> so, the equal sign is comparing what's on the left with what's on the right. And this is why we call it a comparator. Simple, yeah? Yeah. But using comparators in your programs can give them complex zip and zing. Now, there's three other types of comparators. First, the less than sign. Watch carefully. This is called an expression. It says, five is less than eight. And this is true. Fabulous. Now, watch this. <laughs> When the less than sign is switched around, it becomes a greater than sign! So now it says, 8 is greater than 5! And this is also true! Are you catching my drift? Of course you are! Oh, you will. And how will you remember how to tell them apart? Here's a hint. The open end of the symbol always points to the larger value. That's a big pizza. Now that's a big pizza! Okay, one more comparator to go. The strange and wonderful not equal sign. When the greater than and less than signs are end to end like this, it means not equal to. So, this expression says, four is not equal to seven. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Comparators are wonderful things. But now, you know about them. So? I'm here to tell you about your next command! The if-then statement! If-then statements are A-OK! -okay. Sometimes you'll write code that tells your program to perform differently depending on the value it sees. Like, if a number is greater than 50, do this! If the number is less than 50, do something else! Hey! Goo can help me show you the if-then concept! Let's say I write some code that says if altitude x is less than 1000, then pop Goo shoot! Incoming! Yeah! Wow! Let's use some code that has an if-then statement! Next up on Basic Channel 1, it's Squeezebox Fun featuring Media Man and the Go Sub Command. <laughs> you can make some wild sound with a squeeze box. I'm a real punk rocker. Okay, the Go Sub Command. Sometime in the middle of a program, you want the code to stop, go do something else, and then come back and continue. It's kinda like goo at supper time. He eats for a while. Have a drink of water. Then go back to eating. You can do the same sort of thing in your program. Remember, a subroutine always has a name, and it does the same thing every time it runs. When it's finished, it goes back to the program, exactly where it left off. So the computer knows exactly what to do. Go, your beautiful chair. Hey, how you doing? Welcome to an evening at the Ghost Up Dinner Club. 
I would like to introduce you to a new command. Hey, thank you very much. I love your enthusiasm. Ciao! I'm going to tell you about drawing programs. That's very nice. When you write programs that draw to the screen, one of the things a computer needs to know is exactly where to draw. In programming, you pinpoint a location on the screen using an XY coordinate system. An XY coordinate has two values separated by a comma. The upper left location on the screen is called the origin, or using coordinates, 0, 0. In the programming, the X coordinate counts from left to right, and the Y coordinate counts from top to bottom. You may have used coordinates like these a different way in math class. Programming can be a little crazy. And speaking of crazy, how's it coming? Ooh. Oh, fantastico! You're a genius! Arrivederci! Uh, Captain, how does the mouse work? Uh, the mouse. Uh, Roger. The mouse is an input device for your computer. Just like your keyboard, or joystick, or trackball. Oh, the list goes on and on. Uh, basically, an input device brings input from the user into the computer. Uh, Captain, the mouse. Roger that. Whenever you move the mouse, the mouse cursor moves around on the screen and is specified with a set of coordinates. Your code can check for and use the X or Y value of the mouse coordinates to do things like run a subroutine or print or lots of things. Your code can also check when the mouse button is pressed. And do you roger that? A uh, captain? Who's Roger? I have no idea. And uh, we're cleared for landing, so let's check out the mouse. multimedia things you can use to spice up your programs movies which you've already used backgrounds like this picture of the white house which covers the whole screen in back of everything else that's happening then there's sound yeah beautiful luscious sensational sound and last but not least there's sprites like me and goo that's right! I'm a sprite! Out of sight! Sprites are graphic pieces that can move around on the screen! Sprites can just sit there! They can animate! And they can even run into each other! Go! You smell... Special! Oh! And that's it! That's all multimedia is! And remember... Just using the word multimedia can change your life! Oh yeah! People will be impressed! Invite you places, give you money, the works! See you on the other side! Oh. I'm gonna tell you a little story. You see, a long, long time ago, somebody wrote a program that added five numbers together. Now everybody knew they should have used an array. Strange thing was, nobody said nothing. You live and learn, I guess. Have a look. Snowball! Hey, 
Hey, you've completed all 10 lessons. Way to go! That's pretty cool! Let's party!